They left the decrepit hut and headed back towards the headed towards the ancient temple. Ancient temple number two, I will add. Mm, yeah. Your grace, <clears throat> the temple road is guarded by many lizardmen patrols. So what do you suggest? There are many guards in the camp. I recommend after each attack we retreat and make camp. Making camp will fully restore our health mechanic. Uh, we can't delay anymore. My mother is probably in danger. Have you seen this fucking swamp? I know, and it's up to you. Only remember that if we attack all the enemy's patrols in sequence without resting, we might not make it. Thank you, game, for that reminder to save the game. <clears throat> uh, I think we should probably fight the first lizard <laughs> patrol before retreating. Oh, shit. Motherfucker's got a scarf tied around his waist. Uh, yeah. Oh, good <laughs> bad news. Bad news. These are not, this is, like, this lizard men patrol? These are not warriors. These are... LARPers. Ooh. See, I was, I was going more with, uh, colonists. Because we have our voyager, our sea captain, and our priest. I will point out that that is not a cutlass, it's a katana. Oh, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Kill them all. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, all right, so what do we yeah, got? Yeah, uh, our front row sh shoots the back row. Uh, they didn't actually Drake. bring a wizard. Yeah, we do. We've got Draco. No, they didn't. Oh, they didn't bring a wizard. Okay. Um, still... The front row's gonna knock down the front row. Draco will kill the whole bunch, bunch, and Saren and Dora can gang up on back row for a moment. <clears throat> uh, yeah. Let's... Uh, they're weak to fire. Yep. God. So yeah, Draco's oh. gonna. It's about time for that thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that's. Uh... Yeah, Draco's gonna. Oh, disappointing. Oh well, wrong. robbed. Uh, it's no, no, don't kill him because uh, Cleave will uh, take him down. Yeah, I was just thinking that Ramos has got that. Uh... Yeah, he'll deal deal with that problem. <clears throat> um. Yeah. Um. When does Lizardman A? Oh, she can't attack the back row yet because oh, the yeah. front was still there. Yeah. Right. Oh. Poisoned Ramus. Oh, slowed. Slowed. That, that's fine. Lizard Min, whatever. A is going to die very, very much before he gets to go. He has a sword? Uh, yeah. He carries one. Uh, yeah, I think we're still in good shape. Gameplay. Oh, so now we have wizards. Now we got wizards. Those wizards need to stop being things. They are gonna get to go before us. Okay. Well then, uh, it's all we can do to shoot them. I'm actually gonna bop a heal onto Ramus. Uh, how, it's gonna heal 113. That's more than he's lost. Uh, yeah, it's just 50% of his hit points. Oh, it's always 50% of his hit points. Yeah. Okay. Um, <clears throat> like, this one's 25%. How much damage can we do to that wizard? He may have very poor defense. Four, yeah, we can probably kill one of them. Yeah, if me, yeah, if you, if us and Dora can get lucky. Nah. Ooh, real lucky. RNG says. Ah! <laughs> Alright. Alright. Oh, and that wizard didn't do anything terrible to uh, us. He fireballed us, but oh. yeah, he hits uh, our front row for like a bit of fire damage, like 40 right. points of fire damage each, but that ain't enough. All right. So now do we want to... No, he's going to fireball the front row. It's obviously the thing that that guy does. And then... Oh, yeah. And then now he's going to go left. And then Ramus is gonna seal them. It's your boy Ramus. And, and then, then we can stab him. Yeah. We're gonna head to our camp after this, though. Uh, 
us. They were honorless. All right, now we retreat in camp. Do we want to talk to these people? See if they got something anything new to say. We'll yeah. see what them Kiki. As for your oath itself, it is completely unnecessary. It's a really good opener. I think that that's that's a great way to open a conversation yeah, with that's, someone who's arguing again, your coworker. Yeah, we're trying we're trying to make friends here. That's what's going on. I am the sworn protector of Loren. You are simply redundant. If you have any have a ritual that retracts an oath, you should perform it now. Jesus. Uh, no. <laughs> Why not? Why must you be sworn by oath to protect someone? Are you afraid that you were not forbidden to kill her? That you would? And Mukiki's look turned razor Have we sharp. equipped that sword? Do we have that sword? They gave us that sword. Do we, do we have it in our inventory, though? Yes. <laughs> we have not equipped it. Of course not. I'm just going to main hand it. No drop. Uh, yeah, plus 10 to our damage. Sounds great. Yeah, all right. Um. <clears throat> cool. Great. Good call. Yeah. You were jealous of her. I saw how you looked when the sword glowed for her and not you. How are we to know you will not just kill Loren in hopes the sword will recognize you instead? That won't happen, and you don't know me to say that it might. Exactly. We don't know you, just like we don't know any of our other traveling companions. These motherfuckers are complete strangers to us. <laughs> I'm sorry to say that my oath, oath makes my presence very permanent. This is the guy who came in like midway through the campaign... And the dude who plays Saren is like, okay, but basically I do everything that he does, so why would we even hang out with him? And he was like, like, don't worry, I'll integrate myself into the game, I'll just roll with whatever the party's doing, it'll be fine. Yeah, yeah. And then they continue to have this conversation. This is like an object lesson in shitty D&D games that makes me really happy. <clears throat> It's like, as a, as a video game, it's just kind of amusing, but as a D&D &D game, I've played in this game, and I've run this game, to be fair, too, and it's fucking god I've definitely run parts of this game, yeah. and played in other parts, yep. and yeah, it, no. Saren ground his teeth while staring down the warrior. <clears throat> I should remind you that Amazons detest Jesus men, fucking Christ, except man. I was raised as their fuck monkey. I could say the same about you, fuck monkey. <laughs> Saren sneered. Lorraine may not wish to mate with me, which is a, curious, a very curious turn of phrase at this point, but she knows that I have a use, just like you. Because you're a tool. Like I said. Fuck. Even the Amazons can't reject men entirely in their society, unless they've perfected some kind of cloning technology. But I mean, let's be honest, this is a fantasy realm. That would take magic. As slaves, you mean? They keep men for labor because they know they're stronger. Sure. I'm pretty sure that's not why they kept me around. Huh? Right. We got there. We got there. We got there. Uh, yep. Yep. Uh, we know exactly what's happening here. Oh my god. Can we romance more than one person? Uh, well, there's a lot of ro there's a lot of heart markers. Yeah, I know, but that doesn't necessarily mean we can like, romance like, more we than can, one person. We can walk down that path. Yeah. Um. All right. Let's so so we have seen what joking and friendly and forceful look like. Let's, Let's see, see what how bad flirting Sarah looks like. Flirting? Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! I've personally lived with the Amazons, and I know that is not the case. It's, it's good. It's a good start. It's a good start, buddy. Yeah, no. When somebody makes an assertion, you want to flirt with them. Just be like, "Ah, uh, you're wrong." Well, actually, well, well, actually. actually. Sorry. Yeah, I wish I'd read that. Yeah. Well, actually... Oh, here we are, here we are. Continue, continue. My mother was an Amazon. My and father, my father told berries. Yeah, and my father told me how he was selected for not just his strength, but his handsomeness. Men are appreciated for their aesthetic value, too. The slaves are assigned to the royal court are always the best looking, not just the strongest. 
So there's a really there's something really neat here about how like he's he's he like he says this like it like it it's important and, and it matters and like it's normal. Well, and, and, and you're is, like this is this is a person who's like uncritically making yeah. a proclamation about their like institutionalized. Yeah, like, um, like the the, the subjects of deep oppression become like entwined in the system to the point that they will defend it. I assume that this the is, the, the this game is, is going to engage powerfully and critically with that, <laughs> and understandably so. And what mm -hmm. I'm saying is, I'd like to show you how aesthetically pleasing I can be. And Mukiki said nothing, but his eyebrows raised. I like that, like, he didn't raise his eyebrows. His eyebrows just raised. Like, they were playing poker. It, it dawned on Saren that his <clears throat> openness to being attracted to man, which has never come up before, was not universally accepted. Saren immediately felt embarrassed and looked away. Emukiki had not looked disgusted, just surprised, but he considered his sexuality too intimate for casual discussion. Oh my god, I've played under this GM too. I, I thank God have not. <laughs> All right. Um, so that was the thing that just happened. That was the thing we just happened. We are we are definitely going to. Uh, so I vote. I vote if we can romance everybody. We romance. Everybody. We romance pretty much everybody. Yeah. We at least start walking down that path. Yeah. I mean, except maybe a poem a show. Because fuck a Paul show, but don't, like, by don't, not fucking... Don't fuck him. Yeah. yeah. Like, <laughs> I mean, I'd ask for chat votes, but we've only got TJ and Mystery. Uh, Perhaps uh, I've not impressed upon you the urgency of our matters. Why are we chatting? Oh. That's my favorite conversation I ever had with him. <laughs> uh, <clears throat> all right. Draco, I hey, guess. Hey, Draco. What you doing? Saren turned and was startled to see Draco so near. No, I didn't see you there. You startled me. Oh, sorry. You always seem to do that. You're always around me. Why is that? We're in the same adventuring party. We, we sleep like ten feet apart. I am. I, uh, of course I am. I'm the other side to your coin. My, wait, sorry, I thought I got the floating option. Did you... Did you get a dialogue option? I'm a little unsettled. Can we just move on? I'm your partner in crime with the ladies because I'm so ugly. When we're together, you look really handsome. You you did. You got a dialogue option. You you took it. I thought you need my help with that. You're so handsome already. You're you're better <laughs> at this than I am. I'm I'm now Sarah's my eyebrows, eyebrows raised. Uh appreciate the compliment! <laughs> I like <laughs> These are considered two separate. <clears throat> you think I'm attractive? Draco's appraisal. Appraisal is the accurate term, I guess. Gave Saren an odd sense of validation. <laughs> Something he'd never really had before. Being a slave for the Amazons made him feel invisible and even unattractive. Oh my god. Except for the part where he was just talking about... How attractive he is. No, I don't... But he wasn't. He was talking about how attractive his father had been. Uh, it's true. And how attractive slaves that weren't, like, that got to serve the court. Because so, he didn't. He I, wasn't serving the court. That's true, that's true. He I, isn't the prettiest slave. I will... I, I want to point out that mm. Saren is not the prettiest slave. And has like he was an the eight most... pack of abs you could grate cheese on. He was the most... Like, yeah, because he was the most skilled. He's like, this guy's a great healer. Um, and is really good with a bow and arrow. Um, but, and, and, like, and Loren was like, uh, he looks a bit shit. <laughs> He'd always found beauty in the men around him in the slave pen, but no one had ever expressed the same about him. Draco smiled several times as his eyes shifted. Oh, he's blushing! He's blushing! Oh, oh. Yeah, I mean, who wouldn't? became clear that Saren had misjudged Draco, assuming his interactions with women were flirtations. It can be both! Thank you, I, I suppose. He looked away, fearing he might blush. He had never <clears throat> blushed before. Not like this. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, let's take it to Ron. 
when you said you couldn't leave Grimoire because of your job. You never said what your job was. Hmm. Oh, yeah. I suppose not. Saren waited for a follow-up, but Dora didn't continue. Well, I'd like to pry into your personal affairs. Oh, nothing really. Just uh, transporting goods. I was a transporter. Have you seen my films? God, now I wish Dora was <clears throat> voiced by fucking Jason Statham. Nothing, nothing really. Just uh, transporting goods. I was a transporter. Aren't you a little small to carry much? I've carried stuff twice my size. Besides, you're get spending too much time around a polymer show. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Do we, we, we... No, we're going to tell a racist joke. Let's just be friendly. <laughs> if we joke, it'll be racist. It's true. I'm confused. What exactly did you transport? I don't understand the concept of smuggling. Uh, just things. Pretty things. Shiny things. Expansive things. And where did you transport them to? My home? Dora, did people know you were taking their stuff? Yeah, but they found out it was gone. <clears throat> Saren gave Dora a disappointment. That's not word. friendly! Look, I know it sounds bad, but it's not. I ain't a thief or anything. I'm just in the business of collecting stuff. Really cool stuff, no matter where it is. What? If there was a cool vase in some ruins, no one would get huffity... I like that huffity. Mm. No one would get huffity about research of taking that. If so, if it's someone else's property, it's not yours. Like Dora. If someone just came oh. along and took me, my <laughs> owner would be very upset. I hope. I knew I shouldn't have told you anything. Wow, you are a shitty friend. <laughs> All right. So, All right, so um, ab on ab action. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Is that uh, yeah, like it's it like was, cicada. We, we, yeah, I was gonna say we sound just like cricket, cricket or cicada noises. Right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do all dwarves live in the mountains? Oh hell, not all. I mean, Dora doesn't, from what I hear. I come from the Hammerhands, that shiny, smoggy beast of a city. We built a mighty <laughs> fortress smack dab on the side wait, of the wait, mountain. Wait, sorry, though. the hammer hands? Where these are the hammer? Yeah, these are the motherfucking hammer. <laughs> it's a goddamn mighty fortress smack dab on the side of a mountain, eh? Our keep's the strongest you'll find in all of Erevorn, which is apparently the name of this place. Even stronger than the Citadel? Shit, yeah it is! <laughs> yeah, let's, let's joke. <laughs> we, we did so well last time. We're going to be besties. That'd knock, be knock, Ryan. Who's there? <laughs> you got nothing. <laughs> what? <laughs> fortress. Fortress who? <laughs> the fortresses in that beard got pretty little bows on them. Oh, not bad. Not bad. I'll give you that one. Loren might have a word otherwise. Well, shit, she can fight me on it all she wants. Dwarven hands build the best castles. Ain't no two ways about it. I'm really happy with this accent. Yeah, no, I'm... I'm... If we ever pass through there, you'll see what I mean. So you live in the mines, like I heard dwarves do? Fuck no! Mines are cold and shitty! My wagon loses its wheels faster than an imperial in a forest! Rare have my feet planted on top of the ground and under it, <clears throat> that's for sure. Remus is rapidly becoming my favorite character. And I'm coming to understand that I have a lot of internalized racism that I wasn't aware of. I'd like to thank you, Remus, for drawing attention to it in a sensitive and good-natured way. Alright, so we've opened up two of our, our romance options. Do we want to romance this horrible woman? 100% no. I think she's the only one that we, we for sure don't <clears throat> take. Mistress, what can you tell me of the Citadel? Being the princess, you must hold much more knowledge of it than I. Well, well I've literally never seen it from the outside, because <laughs> apparently leaving ab means I abdicate my throne. Red crossed her arms. Of course I do. The Citadel was built stone by stone by the Great Mothers. We were once able to defend our land without it. But fools keep testing the strength of the Amazons, and so our walls were built. <clears throat> in our fortress, we are invincible. 
The walls of the Citadel are impenetrable and always well defended. It's held off eva- invasions from every ragtag banner known. Foreshadowing! You would think that some militants would learn to avoid us, but the stability of a mighty home would likely continue to be tested. Such is the way of our world. Sometimes one of our mother doesn't send the scouts upon all the other empires and conquer them all. Friendly! We continue to be friendly! Do you really think the Amazons could take over the entire world? Why not? Well, statistics. One of our warriors could take on a thousand of whatever excuse for a warrior anyone else has. I mean, have you met Amokiki? Have have you ever done? I call him Kiki for short. Sure. I'm sure. I'm sure he With really a likes that. At the beginning. He, I, yes, I believe that was a good choice. He's been serving me drinks and coconuts. I. <laughs> I don't even know. What he I've gets been. Them. I've been talking about. Uh, uh, with, 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 with Rama about um, internalized racism and I, th- I think never forget I said anything forget it I don't think I'd be that surprised a wise ruler would think a wise fool tool would shut the fuck up fair point <laughs> Loren snapped her mouth shut and looked away we are done <clears throat> with the history lesson all right. Uh, I guess we <laughs> we fight the next lizard by patrol. Yay! Okay, mechanics. All right. All right, wizard, wizard man. Okay, so wizard man. Okay, so yeah, same as last time. Uh, we hopefully uh, arch that wizard into the ground. I don't think we're gonna get it with the uh, no, no, we're, too bad. We're real close, but still. Yeah. Paralyzed. Ooh, that's not good. That is not good. All right. Um, oh, but she can still do. She can guard. Okay. Um, he cannot guard. Why? He does, I don't think he has that superpower. Oh no, it's because we're actually on Draco. Oh. Okay. So yeah, Draco should instead murder the back row. Uh, front row. I had him. Yeah. Go with the front row. Okay. Uh, so now Amokiki can guard. Um, ooh. Might as well. Yeah. Ooh. Alright, but yeah, now she can... Now she can end that. We can end that. No, we can't. Oh! Smoke cloud. Look at these guys actually using powers. <clears throat> there we go. Yay! Level and up. She levels up. Alright. And then... Okay, she doesn't get any powers. The party had cleared the Kazulu Temple halls of all lizardmen, but they had yet to find the lizardmen's leader. The more they fought, however, the more vicious the creatures became. Point of order. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's appropriate to refer to anything that wears pants as a creature. I think I agree with you. I'm just trying to... Like, like think even if you dressed a dog in pants... It would seem a bit inappropriate. But anything that, like, wears pants of its own accord... Creature's a funny word in general. Mm-hmm. Like, like it implies a lot of horror. Um, like, you, you don't call anything that you like creature. Yeah, like, like yeah, it immediately, 100%. Yeah, like... It dehumanizes them. Well, not only dehumanizes them, like, it, it, it demammalizes them. Like, yeah. it, it's... Like, fluffy bunnies are not creatures. Creatures are things that you squish and kill and hide from. No, I don't know. I would. I could make an argument for, like... I, I could see an argument for, like, you know, oh, it's, it's, it's a whole bunch of fluffy woodland creatures. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's a, like, yeah. That's a reasonable... I guess, That's a reasonable yeah. sort of construction. But, but in, in especially <clears throat> in this case, like... Like, like, like it's... it's I, I'm taking it as, like, creatures aren't even animals. Yeah, but but even just that idea that, like... 
It undermines their sapience. Yes. Yeah. These 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 uh, lizard men, what with their cult, like their their long culture and uh, deep reverence for the swampland in which they live is being undermined by a lot of stabbing. But, like, women. they can forge metal and wear pants. Yeah, yeah. Like, like, these are they have a civilization. Yeah, th- these are a peoples that we have decided are simply monsters and thus uh, are deserving of our stabbing. Um, anyway. Uh, then, suspiciously, all the attacks stopped. They were guided through the empty talls by lit torches and sounds. We're about to see their civilization. They walked down a musty corridor and into a great hall. There were torches lit across the wide room and large, decorated wizard li- lizard men, wizard men, clearly. Yeah, wizard wor- wizards. Working around occult symbols on the floor. There, the king must be with them. Loren pulled her swords and charged the monsters, already impatient to collect the teeth required for Kambara's potion. Jesus. The lizard men screeched as she plunged her weapon into the nearest one. She pulled her sword back out with a grunt and scanned the chamber for her, her next target. What she saw instead made her lose her mind. Karen, her mother, was tied to the wall, limp and unmoving. M- mother? She did not move. Loren screamed in pure bloodlust. Meanwhile, a giant lizard man warrior approached them. He was the Lizard King! Boss fight, Lizard King! Alright, uh, yep, seems great. <clears throat> Which one's... Okay, Lizard King is front row center? Yeah. Front row center, uh, he is weak to fire. Okay. Uh, but we can't, we deal with that wizard, lizard. Yeah, first. wizard, wizard man needs to, needs to... Uh, yeah, problem. that's, that's good. Thank you for leveling up, Dora. Uh... Wizard man taken care of. There we go. Uh, so now that back row we can pretend doesn't exist. Uh, do we want to buff us? We should buff us. I was going to say, do we want to get that rally on? Yeah. yeah. And then uh, obviously uh, I'm go for the shield wall. Yep. And then Ramos can hopefully deal with... Oh, not quite. Not quite. Do we want to take one of them out? Does he? Is he? Does he have enough juice? Yeah, he does. Yeah. Oh, Ram robbed. All right, yes. try the other one. Uh, who are we right now, Ramus? Yeah. All right, does a respectable amount of damage now. Alright, so... Alright, the back row is now dead. Uh, everybody's doing fine. We win! Hooray! Cloak of the Lizard King! Cloth armor. Doesn't look that good. Ah, that's fine. That means, uh, I think Draco gets to wear it. Ramus is gonna get a little soon. That's good. Oh, yeah. The last lizard man fell. <laughs> Bloody and broken from how Loren had mauled him. She dropped her swords and rushed to her mother, who was still lifeless and bound to the wall. Lifeless implies dead. Yeah, li- lifeless, yeah. Achievement unlocked! Free Karen! No, Karen. 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 My bad. Yeah. You're right. Loren You're right. and Karen. Yes, of course. Saren, though, is Saren. Yes. Mother, please. Mother? She lifted Karen's head and rocked her to make sure that she was alive somehow. Her body was warm to her relief. Saren handed her a knife to cut the ropes. Please. I super hope where her mom just doesn't, who I assume is going to join us as a party member, isn't just wearing a bikini the whole time. <laughs> He's slightly torn. Uh, I really hope that that's the case. Just before she shed a tear, Loren saw her mother's eyes blink open. Actually, you know what? I am deeply more comfortable with the idea that she is wearing a bikini all the time than the lizard men stripped her down to this or dressed her up in this. Point. (laughs) They struggled to focus and then finally looked to see who was holding her. Oh, she needs a voice. Fuck. Oh, um... Um... 
Well, yeah, we're gonna. There's definitely gonna ca be Karen Lor Karen Loren. Yeah, but the Saren Karen conversations are also gonna be. Uh, same, <clears> right? Like. Le well, you've got what, what's Karen? What, what's Loren's accent? She's just British. She's just British. She's just like Lo sort of low key British. I don't have a British one yet, so Loren. The princess cried in happiness and hugged her mother close. Also, the music just like flat cut out. Yeah. Um, that's that's the game. It's it's a it's a still and quiet moment. Apparently, we're not being told how to feel. I appreciate that. She managed to free Karen completely from her bonds, revealing dark marks on her wrists from how long she had been held. What? Why are you here? I've come for you. The Amazons wanted to brand you as dead, but I knew you'd be alive. Dead? Karen. Why would they think that? I've just been imprisoned by lizard men. For I've been weeks. here for a week. <laughs> It's ridiculous. Karen immediately searched the room, and her face turned to anguish. Yeah, good. That's just how she dresses. Yeah, yeah, that's... Yeah. That's... Yeah. She stood... Oh, sorry. She stood up shakily and fought her body's weakness to scramble over to a corpse nearby. Rise on No! She turned the person over to reveal an armored man. Dead. Karen did not mute her horrid cries upon seeing him, pressing her head into his cold body. The entire party stood in silence, witnessing the agony of a woman who had just barely escaped with her own life. Loren was perplexed at seeing such a reaction from her mother. Rizum had been her mother's personal servant, and that was all. Loren suddenly made the connection that the man who had been reported as traveling with her and her mother had been only her slave. Her thoughts went wild. No one had captured her? Y yes, someone had captured her! Yes. We just rescued her! Why had she been traveling with him? He was a man. Mother. Don't look at me. She snapped at her daughter too quickly, still hunched over Rhizome's body. No, oh, sorry, I was entirely... Don't look at me! Decisions I wish we could we could make. I really now want to go back and voice uh, Karen as Smeagol. Oh, uh, and, and I could do a go golem and yeah, we... No, it's... <laughs> <laughs> too late. We've yeah, gone too no, far. Yeah. We've gone too far. Loren took a step back in fear. Don't judge me. Loren gasped. Karen had loved Rizum. So clear to Loren now. From the way her mother was clutching him so dearly, she had been in love with him. All those smiles they had secretly shared back at the Citadel, every time her mother had chastised her for criticizing him and other men. He did abduct you. We were running away with him. Her mother could never be allowed to love a man, especially not as queen of the Amazons. She'd be cast out, and so would Loren, simply because she was related to, to a treacherous weakling. Men were only for procreation, never for love. She'd been taught this for as long as she could remember. All this time, Loren had believed that her mother had disappeared against her will, and now it was clear that she'd wanted to abandon her all along. I am dead. I should be dead. Saren could, uh, Saren could not stand her <clears throat> and some, some standoffish behavior toward her mother, especially for something so meaningless as what gender her lover was. Saren's like suddenly woke. Like, he's been talking like. Who was into this game? He was like, obviously, all dudes men are slaves. Yeah, well, like, like I said, he's been having a lot of long conversations. With, like, our dwarf, who's, like, he's, like, like 80% of the way there. He's, like, super aware of the issues, but can't recognize the flaws in his own behavior to, to towards a woman he's interested in. Mm, fair. <clears throat> so Saren hurried to Queen Karen's side and placed comforting hands on her shoulders. That's, that's, that's a little weird, dude. With a gentle pull, he let No, no, that, like, like, someone's grieving, like, a comforting fair, hand on the fair. shoulder. That's, that's... He led her away from Rizum's corpse, though it was clear she wanted to stay with him. The Amazon Queen had always been a strong, stoic leader, with a rain and exterior as hard as stone. But now she was just a woman breaking down in his arms. It was enough for Saren to question reality itself. Oh, this is very touching, everyone. Uh, can I fuck this up? Yeah, it looks like I see some character development going on over here. Yeah, it's kind of that. Fucking more lizard men! There's some fighting to do! Uh, roll initiative! It's curious they didn't kill the Amazon Queen yet. 
Or indeed, perhaps they had another purpose for her! You mean dark magic, right? Just to be clear, we were talking about some kind of, like, dark fucking creepy ritual. No, no, I was actually... Yes, yes, now that you bring it up, that's much better than what I was... Had. Whoo! Uh, we can't let him... We can't leave him here! No, we will give him what he deserves. Follow me. I... Outside, <clears throat> a bright pyre burned, sending Rizum home. Karen, Karen stared into the flames, utterly silent. On the opposite side, Loren was just as silent, but staring at her mother instead. She was still having difficulty piecing together everything that she had just seen. She loved her <clears throat> mother deeply, but now wondered who she even was. Despite her mother having broken Amazon tradition and requiring exile from the Citadel, Loren could not ex excommunicate her own blood. Not just because it would mean her own exile, which... Technically, you're both... Yeah, yeah. Like, but because her mother was not a bad person. <laughs> she was a strong queen and a good mother, even if her heart beat for someone who it should not have. Saren quietly walked up and stood by Loren. She looked over at her servant. A man. How could her mother have learned to love one? No, that's, like, real. Have you... Have you... Like, are, are you... you are you grate, seeing what's you could, going on? You, you could grate cheese on this. You see this V? You see this V? Like, like... Right in there? Like, not just, like, cheddar. Like, like, Parmesan. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, that's, hard cheeses. Like, that's, that's what we had to do in, in, in the house where I worked, was, was, uh, you know, I would serve... I would serve my, uh, you know, my, my mistress a lovely, like, uh, like a penne arabiata, and then I would be like, would you like Parmesan? And it would just grate it on my abs onto her food, which... You don't, you don't even want to, you don't even want to know how I ground the pepper. Jesus fucking Christ. <laughs> we crossed the line. <laughs> One point. <laughs> how do you fare, your highness? She felt <clears throat> electrocuted from his concern. God! <laughs> These people have clearly never been electrocuted. This is not a... <clears throat> Go on. Since she'd begun her journey, she'd allowed this man into her personal life and even relied on him. She trusted him. Was it that easy to slip into love for one of them? Don't speak to me. Fair. She didn't want to find out. And we're never going to romance you. Nope. You heinous, heinous human being. Well, sorry, sorry, I don't want to insult you by implying that you might be of the same species as me. Have a nice day. Loren walked away and urged the party to leave <clears> the swamps <throat> as soon as possible. Saren stood alone, left wondering why his mistress responded in such a way. Of course, it was to be expected as her servant, but he couldn't shake the look in her eyes just now. After pulling Karen from the pyre, the party I decided to move on. That is not... That yeah, sentence is structure there. <laughs> And leave the swamps. Loren took her first steps back toward the citadel, toward home. Thief Scout. Oh. All right. All right. What do you got? What do you? What? Uh, so skill, I assume. Probably. Uh, leg break. Makes them slow. I like slow. Um. Uh, doubles her damage for three turns against a single target. Oh, that's sweet in a boss fight. Uh, strike through, hit target, and any target in the corresponding back row for 50% damage. Mm. Get a chance to scare them. And then Thief on the other side, I assume. Oh. Which is the... No, what is what is the... Oh, yeah, the bombs the... and stuff, yeah. It's all the bombs and the backstabs. Yeah. And... <clears throat> um... Yeah, the big advantage is that with her leg break, she can set them up for, uh, like, a backstab. Mm. Um, uh, so our middle ones are death blow. If they're not a boss, I don't care. It does 40%. If, if, they're, if they're burned or frozen or tired, it does 40% of their hit points and damage. Mm. Which is cool, but it, uh, the people I really <clears throat> need to, to work on are bosses. Yeah, um, but middle row seems to be super useful for bosses. Yeah. 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 She is. Whirlwind hits three nearby targets for 110 percent damage with 30. That's pretty good too. So 
that's front row. Yeah. Um, what's... Oh, and that's quick, too. The setup? The middle row. Oh yeah, three. Like wow. I, I am, I am a big fan of these two. Slow them down and hit them high and hit them hard. Yeah. Um, but yeah, let, let's just climb that tree. Let's go all the way up. Yep. You are, you are our excellent kill at killing thing, at killing single thing. It would be here where the story of Loren, the Amazon princess, should have ended. She had never left the Citadel until the day her mother went missing, and she was now returning home with her. Her goal was complete, but her journey was far from over. And we're going to take a ten-minute break. That seemed very... Yeah, yay. Well-timed. Mm, right? Yeah. yeah.